NBC's Katie Turr was asked to move from London to New York to cover a reality TV star's presidential run. She didn't think she'd be here very long. Well, she is still here. Katie chronicles her 510 days on the campaign trail with President Trump. In her new book, it's called Unbelievable, My Front Row Seat to the Craziest Campaign in American History. Katie, good morning. It's good to see you. Hey there, Matt. The title says it all. Yeah. I mean, unbelievable. But as time has passed a little bit since Election Day, is your view of the campaign the same or has it has it evolved a little it bit? It is still unbelievable every single day, especially when I went back and I wrote the book and I reviewed a lot of um, the, the diary notes that I took and all the, a lot of the reporting that I did. I couldn't believe that I experienced what I did. There were actual memories where I went back and I didn't I just didn't think they remember. happened. And then I found a clip of it on television. You were in the thick of it. And I think it's important to remember that you didn't have a ton of experience. No following politics no. or covering politics before that, do you think that impacted your the way you covered the campaign? I think that benefited it great, greatly because Donald Trump is this outsider candidate. He's a political neophyte and everybody in Washington counted him out immediately. The headlines were so severe. Donald Trump is running for president and it's going to be hilarious. And because I didn't have those preconceived notions, because I wasn't living in the bubble of Washington, not to, to say anything negative about Washington, but I do felt like I would feel like I was able to assess his support and the devotion that he found himself enjoying more easily. Not only did you cover the story, there were some moments during the campaign where you found yourself in the news as well as part yeah. of the story. I want to play two clips. These are comments that Donald Trump made about you. I'll put them together. We'll talk about them on the other side. She's back there. Little Katie. She's back there. What a lie it was. Third rate reporter. Remember that third rate. But actually, Katie Turr, what happened? She hmm. was so great. I just saw her back there. I gave her a big kiss. Really? She was fantastic. Okay. How did you deal with the, with the very different versions of Donald Trump when it came to his attitude toward you? It was like a roller coaster, and you just had to put it aside and continue doing your job, which is why I think I saw so many different mood swings with him. At first, he was very charming, and when he realized that his charm uh, wasn't going to change my reporting, he would go on the attack. But he switched back and forth like that throughout the entire campaign. What I did every day, though, Matt, and you saw this, was go out and try and honestly uh, report on what was happening and, and hold him accountable for the things that he said. You said you kept a diary. I would love to go back and read the entry in the diary on that day that he called you little Katie yeah. Turr and you were dishonest and things like that. Well, that is in the book and you can go back and, and, and read exactly what it felt like in that moment. It was, it was jarring, it was scary, and it was one of those feelings that I don't think I'll ever be able to shake. Yeah, I, I was at a few of his rallies when he would target the press and although he never mentioned me by name, I do remember the entire room turning around and looking at the press pool. Yeah. And it was a very intense feeling. We had to have armed security. Um, and it wasn't just NBC, it was the other networks as well. I think everyone except for Fox and CBS. Um, the, the crowd would all, they would turn on us and they would yell and, and he riled them up to do that. And I'm not saying Donald Trump's supporters were violent, angry people. Many of them were lovely and wonderful when you talked to them one on one. The concern was, what if there's one person in that crowd who might take this too seriously, who might feel like this is not just a show or part of the act and take it further? Another campaign coming up faster than we'd all like to uh, admit. Would you be part of that as, Absolutely. as well? Absolutely. I go would back love out on the road? to. I hope NBC says uh, they want me to do it. I'd love it. Well, it's an amazing account. It's called Unbelievable, you, and it's out today. Katie, thanks. thanks. Congrats. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.